Good day everyone, welcome to another psdvault.com tutorial. In this video I'll show you how to create a really awesome splashing water text effect. So what we're going to be doing here is using brushes that we've downloaded off the internet and there's plenty that you can find on there to create a water text effect around this character. So you can see I've downloaded a bunch there. So what I'm going to do is just pick one that's appropriate for this character. and resize it to something appropriate. I didn't quite get the right position there, so I'm just going to redo that. That looks a bit better. So now I'm just going to grab another brush and do pretty much the same thing. Now the key here is to use different brushes, different sizes and different opacities. Tr really try to avoid using the same thing twice because obviously the nature of water is that it's very dynamic. So then just repeat that a few more times, different spots around the character. Obviously adding a lot more or fewer depending on how much water you want. So I'm just going to grab a soft uh, eraser brush here and just erase um, some of the parts there just to make it a little bit more dynamic. Up the top and the sides. Now what we can also do here is draw in some flows of water. Um, so I'm just grabbing a, a soft, fine um, paintbrush there and just drawing approximately where the water might be flowing off the uh, edge of the letter. Don't want to make it too thick though. So really it's just repeating those steps over and over until you've built up enough water to meet what, you, what you're trying to do. So if I turn on the rest of the layers here that we've got, you can see there it's built up a lot more. As I said earlier, different brushes, different sizes. I've drawn a few more streams of water on the left there. Added some streams along the, the curves there almost as highlights even as well. Extra water layers. So I'm just going to group those together again. I'm going to duplicate that group now because what we're going to be doing here is highlighting this with a sharpen. Duplicate that. I'm just going to merge them together for simplicity. and then we're going to sharpen it. So with that new layer selected we go up to the filter menu, sharpen, smart sharpen and we choose an outrageous amount here. And we go OK. That really brings out all the particles there as if a spotlight is shining straight on this character in the water. And that's just for comparison there. Now the other things we did to make it a touch more believable uh, was to add a shadow under all the water there, as if the water itself is casting shadows. I'm going to turn that on. You can see that there. And also what we did is add some frog or spray, as if the water is really kicking up a bit of a, a bit of a mist there. And really that's all there is to it. Just adding 
multiple layers with different brushes. I'm trying to imagine where the uh, where the water would flow. And that's just different uh, sharpened layers there for comparison. And of course, don't forget VIP members can get this full PSD for download. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.